I don't think he had pictures for any of these. Hey, at least he wasn't like actively hunting him, though. Right, exactly, exactly. You got to look at the bright side, man. Um, Jamie Ray Felix, 45, fatally shot in West Palm Beach. Accused was the victim's estranged husband, Ray Felix, 60. Port, police in Port St. Lucie provided updates in the Monday regarding the murder-suicide involving Jamie, a 45-year-old math teacher, the victim, a teacher at Manatee Academy K-8, was fatally shot by her estranged husband, 60-year-old Ray Felix. Ray had also been employed at the Manatee Academy, but resigned in October following his arrest for domestic violence against Jamie. Hey, I'm about to see what's wrong. Why we're not getting the, the pictures up? Why we're not getting the, the pictures for this month? Um, because I I wanna um, I I, I, I wonder why they're not giving me the pictures. Um, let me see if let me see. Oh yeah, this that um that goddamn cold burner. Okay, so they, okay, so this is my, maybe they're doing videos now. Okay, so they're doing videos now. All right, they're doing videos now. So let's go back to March. Let's do March. Let's go back to March. We'll go back to April. I'll, I'll watch the video for April later. Okay, this is new. They're doing videos now. So let's see. Anastasia Rayborn. We did her. 21. Martin <laughs> Ray- <laughs> Rayborn's boyfriend struck her at high speed with an SUV, sending her through a wall of a house. Cold toe. Damn. See, a sister would have been fine, but, you know. Cold yeah. toe. pig. nice. Ain't that a nice looking white girl, man? I ain't gonna lie, man. White uh, girls in my town like yeah, this, they, they always be with a black dude. Like it's a look. It's a certain look, 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 man. Can't even man. lie. Exactly, man. Salute to her, man. Um, she was with her son, man. Man, she wasn't racist, man. At least she got that. You know what I'm <laughs> man, you know what I'm man. I was thinking yeah, that. At least she purged her soul of that that white guilt. She Tell was me. with she was with like a, a a goddamn Harambe too. She wasn't with like a. Yeah, she was with a, a proto for sure. Yeah, she was with I a saw the picture of him. Fucking Bushman. <laughs> she I mean, how do you treat likes, your huh? jeans so cavalierly? I know. It's uh, a wow. slightly sickening. Yikes! Yeah, that's him right there, yo. <laughs> homie, hey, listen, homie, straight from the moon, the man, straight from yeah, the this. Moon, this this nigga look like he just did a, a blood magic ritual some on the yeah. island somewhere. Yo, I mean, look, I, you got we gotta admire your, the Sun Man's like audacity. You know, they're they're like they they're carefreeness about it. Like they're gonna shoot their shot. You gotta admire that. Yeah, man. I'm telling you. No pun intended when I say shoot. For any for any red pill dude out here, bro, if this nigga pulling. You got a shot, I'm telling, bro. I'm telling you, man. I don't want to hear shit about <laughs> that white girl. Man, sure that white your heart girl. out. Imagine her last boyfriend, though. Think about it like this. You don't just date this. You had to graduate to this. There were several other black dudes in her past, too. She, prob- she probably started with, like, a little... Like, you know, like a regular son, son man that went to her high school... And then she probably mm-hmm. went to like, you know, just some little random hood dude. And then she graduated to. She ran the gamut goddamn, from Creole to Crispy. Yeah, she that graduated to goddamn Mad Max. I mean, look, I, let's be honest. That girl, she probably grew up as a little kid listening to Drake and shit like that. Watching, you know, on TV. In New Orleans, I promise you, yeah. You know, watching, t- you know, on TV, all this, you know, summer presentation. 
you know, she watches if she watches any football, you know, summer and be represented. Basketball is summer on TV. She, you know what I mean? Like, come on. Documentaries I, about how racist Louisiana's, you right. know, Document- prisons about, are. About, about, about how none of them didn't do nothing. Yeah, about Glatterman ain't shit. I mean, that, that, what the fuck, you know? Be real. Well, That's the- one of the variables you got to think is, okay, you know how uh, when they would like interview those pedophiles, right? And they'd say how they had stopped kids that didn't have a father. You can get a same type of situation here. If a white girl doesn't have a father in the home, then that makes her a lot easier for a son man to, to prey on. Yeah. And, um, and uh, I've read a study online that, um, that the lower IQ women of, uh, of any race, usually are the ones that gravitate towards sun men. I mean, shoot, you look at the picture of that dude, and like we gotta understand, like a lot of like dumb low IQ or just women with no dads or whatever would look at that guy and like see see like masculinity in that guy, right? I mean, he looks like a freaking like they, basically like Harambe. Yeah, they, so they, like, might, they might into it. They might feel like um, there's a level of comfort and safety. Yeah, like, you know he look. He just looks like a dude that that won't. He doesn't take any shit, bro. I don't know him, but you could just. He has that vibe, bro. Yeah, no, I I think you're correct there, Nick Tal. That's basically what it is. It's it's all fun and cool, and then she's got like Billy Badass until Billy Badass turns on her, and then she's yeah. Got well, she would have been better off fucking a gorilla from the j- actual jungle. So. <laughs> Shout out to Economics, a one one one. He says as in educated conservative dude who agrees with 99 percent of what you say gotta let you know you're dead wrong about dna it's culture where biggest at distinction is testosterone i'm not fat floyd blank slate is a myth bro it was right. time, that man. dude had like a heart attack halfway yeah, through it, that. Uh, okay, what's, what's, blood pressure Floyd? Medication? what's Fat Floyd? Do you guys know? Some Fat Floyd. Floyd. Oh, Floyd. Oh, okay, uh, okay. St. George. It's, it's DNA. Floyd. It's always been DNA. It's never not going to be Floyd. DNA. But, and also, but it's like, isn't testosterone levels DNA? Yeah, all, yeah. Everything we say is cold. Like everything exactly. is hair. Every trait. Culture is down one from DNA. Every trait you could think DNA. of has some sort yeah. of uh, heritability, bro. Right. Every trait. I mean, I mean, I think it's a little complicated, but I think it's fair to say it comes back to DNA. And all this yeah, we, complication. We got to get this guy on here because you can't agree 99% with Auk and not agree it's right. DNA. That exactly. in of itself is not making sense. <laughs> that's, that's, that's more than 1%. DNA is more than 1% of that. <laughs> Of my philosophy, so you can't. Really <laughs> like if anything, he disagrees with you ninety nine percent. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> right. yeah, that's like that's like uh, that's like being a Christian and your your favorite prophet was Muhammad. Like that should have yeah, right. right. no sense, right. man. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't. No. <laughs> Look at this kid. Look at this white dude, man. Look at this white dude, man. Austin Turner. 26, Nashville, Tennessee. Turner was killed while working as a bouncer in a nightclub after turning away an unruly patron. Yeah, I remember he asked some men to leave. Yeah. Yeah. Just start, you know, just normal. I mean, normal. Just start, you know, I can can tell this guy to, you know, like think about how many people he kind of escorted out of the club. It probably wasn't like... You know, just one guy. In addition you to know, all the I people bet. being murdered over this, being asked to le- a son man being asked to leave is one of the leading causes of mass shootings in yeah. general in the United States. Yeah, yeah I, I, I wonder if I, on this cause of death they put a son man to leave. Kick son man out of cause of death. Maybe, man. I mean, that needs to be, it needs to start being the cause of death. Yeah, they can put that on your death certificate. I mean, Sons have really turned like downtown nightlife in Nashville into not a cool thing anymore. Everywhere else too. Did you say Nashville? Wait, hold on. Did you say Nashville officially? You did yeah. In America. Well, yeah. I mean, I know that, but I'm just saying Nashville is cannot considered like a sun violent type of place, but it very much is now. Yeah, it's not known. 
like the other places. Oh, oh, is it now? Wow. No, you never hear about like Nashville when. I mean, but I keep I keep hearing more and more stories of Sunmen in Nashville shooting or beating people. The nostrils of Nashville. Listen, when I was in Nashville last year, Nashville, well, two years ago. Listen, man, I was in Donaldson really because I stayed in Donaldson. Like that's a suburb where um, the Grand Old Opry is. It's actually in Dal Donaldson, I think. Yeah, and um, I went downtown. I we rode through Nashville, the city. It's right next door, across the street. And listen, man, I didn't see a lot of sun. I saw a clean city. We stayed out on the black side. That city is immaculate on the on the white side. The downtown area near the stadium, you can eat off the ground. It's amazing where they got all those country clubs, country music clubs, and museums down there. It's a beautiful city. Am I lying, fisherman? No. No, it's a very uh, one of the last like big glider sort of cities in America. But it's like if you go down there and, and you know for the nightlife, it's becoming very much like you know yeah, you look around. And, around yeah. yeah, it's like you looking around. And you're like, is this 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 ain't country music? This is something else. Too many Richards around. <laughs> Yo, yeah, uh, DNA man. He yeah, didn't we, do we, nothing wrong. We need economics to uh, get on the panel at some point. Yeah, all the culture dudes, can y'all please? I, I, These fucking I culture wanna, people, get on here, please. Yeah, Come on, please. Now. I just want to. I, I need. Give me some hope, bro. <laughs> I want to. Yeah. I want hope. Shit. If only rap music didn't exist, this would all be fine. Exactly. Yeah, rap exactly. music and single moms, bro. That's and Irish men. Yeah. And what they don't understand is rap music couldn't not exist with this. Right. Once. Once. Because here's the thing, in Africa, we were just pounding on drums with, you know, random beats and shit and off rhythm shit. Like, if you listen to African traditional music, man, that shit ain't popping. The white man gave us the metronome. He gave us the Actually. keyboard. Yeah, he gave us, he gave the music structure. And now we make great music. We have rhythm and everything. Africans don't got no rhythm. You ever been to an African club? Don't nobody in there got no rhythm. Don't nobody in there not a two step. Assuredly not, Ock. Listen, man. Um, we, I've never been to a blue white uh, club. No, they dance on the one and the two. The Africans dancing. I mean, on the one and the three. Oh, they more on the one and the three than the two and the four. Um, salute to um Barry B. Man, Ock Nation Hall of Famer. Shout out to my man Aster J. Man. Um. Asked to Jay in the building, man. Um, shout out to you should open you a nightclub to... called Booty Scratchers. Yeah, definitely, man. I mean, I'm in there. Shit. Yeah, they ain't like that. They ain't gonna come. Shout out to the Lux 247, aka Cal Ripley, aka the real MVP, coming through once again, still like 2,000 straight shows. Shout out to the Lux 247, man. One of a kind, man. Um, shout out to my man, Aster J. He says, Ah, the idea that Ryan Clark, an intellectual lightweight, gets to talk shit is insulting and wish these gliders would just push back, press one. <laughs> yeah, man. That guy could kick Ryan's ass, too. So he, he could have pushed back, man. But, uh, <laughs> We need that. What's that other one? That other MMA fighter that I always be doing at LeBron James. Um, you know, LeBron's head. Damn. Fuck it. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, White Sean. Dude. I know Sean Strickland says a lot of stuff. Is that his name? Yeah, that might be his yeah, name. Sean yeah, Sean Strickland with the shits. Damn, LeBron Strickland be on LeBron James noggin, man. Um, but yeah, this guy killed that white guy after he oh. put him. Club. Somebody dropped the link in the chat, man. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's censoring the link, the URL. Oh, shit. I just tried it and it, it disappeared. The link disappeared? Well, I just tried to post that, it there again and it immediately went away. 
I think. Oh, wow. Let me see something. <laughs> that'll be a new one. I ain't going to lie. That'll be new. Yeah, that's that's new. Crazy. Ostensibly, yeah, that's that would be preventing, like, spammers and bots and shit. Nah, no, I got it through. That's I a new Jew tactic. Yeah, I got it through. Um, oh, Officer maybe. Justin Hare. Justin Hare, we did this story, too. Hare was shot by a career criminal while conducting a welfare check on a vehicle with a flat tire. This guy had already killed a bunch of people. He killed a couple of people in like South Carolina. He found his way to New Mexico, got a flat. And this guy, this white guy was coming over to help him, man. And he he wanted to take his information because when you help somebody with a flat, you got to take the information. And, and can you even blame him for stopping to help a sun person? Because he maybe even didn't even have time to realize it was a sun person. He's just fucking doing his job, you know? Yeah, you don't know it's a, you don't know it's a black guy. On the side of the road at night, you just know it's somebody on the side of the road with a flat tire. And you're, I mean, you're he a did. state trooper. He did the right thing, technically speaking. You know what I mean? I mean, it is what it is. He did the right thing. Yeah, you a state trooper, yeah. man. That's your duty, right. man. Serve, serve, and protect. He served. Right. Serve, good, right. Good. Yo, good thing I'm not a cop. I would have kept driving. So. I'm telling you, I would suggest that too. Well, as society, we just have to understand that you shouldn't stop and help anyone because it could be a sun person that'll kill you. No big deal. That's how we break down the moral fabric of societies. Letitia Bracio, we did this one. And um, that goddamn sun man mowed them down. They, you know, they, they went from living one second to dead in the next. There's no way they were alive when they hit the ground. You remember this one? The sun man was downtown and he ran the red light. And oh yeah, that was shit like, was crazy. Beyonce, yeah, they went to Beyonce. I think they went to see a Beyonce concert. Yeah, yeah. And they were coming back, crossing the street, and downtown. I'm talking about downtown. Oh, yeah. They went to go see Beyonce or Drake. Drake. They went to go see Drake. Drake. Yeah, Drake. It was Drake. You're right. And I think she's from Chicago. I think she was yeah, from Chicago yeah. too. They were from Chicago. Yeah. And he comes flying through the light and he hit them so motherfucking hard that I know they flew in the air, but when they they had to be dead before they hit the ground. Like he hit them hard. But but, but just the idea of him driving that way throughout downtown is incredible. It's fucking stupid. You're gonna kill somebody, bro. But definitely nice so. And he got out on a bond. Yeah, he was released on the twenty thousand dollar bond. He's, I think, he's still waiting his um decision because the other girl, remember the guy who hit the girl and the volleyball player last year in St. Louis and cut her legs off. He got, I think, what, nineteen years or something like that. But this kid's home. This kid is home. This kid's getting his dick rolled by some chick. Some chick is giving this dude some, head. Some Gladry Quinn. <laughs> yeah, he's he's eating Doritos and shit and hot pockets and he might be at the club right now. This dude, I mean, he incinerated them the mother and daughter. But tell me there's a god again. Tell me there's a guy. <laughs> I'm telling you. Maybe man. God is a sun yeah. man. <laughs> Agatha Taylor. In Owen Hart, the engaged couple was fatally struck by an intoxicated driver of an 18-wheeler. The third victim was also struck and killed. So they just was beginning to start their life together. And, you know, just going to start their life together. And everything that, oh, shit, God, no. Damn. What was that? Oh, no, that, oh, that the <laughs> he, he looked fresh out the boat. No disrespect yeah. to him, bro. I ain't I'm gonna be him next to a good white like woman. Yeah. Cars are such a uh, 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 an unknown, uh, unreported weapon. I'm glad these got people are reporting the damage that yeah, cars yeah, do. Sure. You know what? I think we have a car problem. Yeah, ban assault cars 
or SUV. Yeah, he doesn't have the nefarious that. nostrils, though. Yeah, he's more <laughs> East African. Officer Jonathan Diller. Look how many cops get killed. Diller Over was 170 this stopped. year. Wow. By a career criminal with 21 prior arrests during a routine traffic stop. He got his little boy there. Man. Are you seeing any patterns yeah. with dead officers at traffic stops? Yeah, definitely. Wow. I mean, I mean, the summon in me says, well, we don't know what he did in his, you know, throughout his days. Maybe he was, you know, unrighteous to the brothers. And he probably was asking for it. Man, He's that's crazy. Cop. 170, isn't it? Isn't it normally like 50 a year or something? Back in the day? That's nuts. I don't know. Alex oh, James Alexander Hilton, Hamburg, Pennsylvania. Hilton was fatally shot while assisting a fellow truck driver at a rest stop when an argument with another man broke out. This poor Tiger wife. I'm telling you, man. Tigers love them some gliders too. You know that shit was tough. She um god damn. Think about how random it is. She ain't gonna be with no some man, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. tiger woman love them some uh some uh glider, man. Look at this though. He um he just was he was just there assisting a fellow truck driver, like a good glider, assisting a fellow truck driver. And it had to have been a black truck driver, most likely, if he got in an argument with another man <laughs> and got shot. Like, it, it was obviously another son truck driver. Okay? I'm willing to bet. It been a random son man that ran with walked in off the street. I wonder, yeah. actually. I, I mean, what if it wasn't, you know? Are we being unfair to the son man right now? Is that what we're going to do? I mean, he could have been assisting a white truck driver, and two some people got into an argument twenty feet away, and yeah. he died. Yeah, when you see two some people get an argument, you get behind the heaviest metal object you can, like a <laughs> like a fucking one of those dumps. Like you see a bomb with black. a timer with ten seconds left. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta I, take seriously. Over. Yeah, you, you know how seriously. You know, you know how they used to do the the bomb drills during the Cold War? Act? You gotta hit the deck, and you know. Oh yeah, I remember that in school. Stop, drop, and roll, and all that shit. Yeah. Whenever you see two summer getting into it, just you know, hit the deck. Cameron Smith, what's up, Cameron Smith? I was in on? culture, bro. Cameron I was Smith. in that culture. This nigga dropped, bro. He dropped right off. Drop. Oh, and that's the culture game. Whole ass nigga. Oh, that was a porn bomber because he um he, he he didn't want to be behind that super chat. He wanted some freedom, man. Let's see, uh, let's see what happened to this guy. Who was that track? The, the, the uh, truck stop, man. And he got smoked, man. Uh, let's see what happened. Um, Robin, when the authorities say a Florida man is charged with murder and assault in this shooting that ended the life of a truck driver this morning. Travis Gerald Pugh from Jacksonville, Florida, is charged with first and third degree murder in the deadly shooting of 40 year old James Alexander Hilton of Southampton, New Jersey. Authorities say around 2.45 a.m. they responded to Love's travel stop near I-78 in Upper Burn Township for a report that a truck driver shot another truck driver in the parking lot. They say Hilton died at the scene and Pugh fled. We had witnesses that provided a vehicle description of the uh, suspect vehicle immediately. Police issued an alert to all authorities within 99 miles. While conducting their search, troopers observed they tracked the trailer that matched the description of the Bolo on the exit 45 ramp. They then proceeded to travel back onto the Interstate 78 West Garland. At around 3.30 a.m., the suspect was taken in by police near the Kutztown exit. And I want to commend Okay, so that's what happened. Shit. Cameron Smith, what's going on? Cameron Smith, what's up? Yeah, hear me? 
Yeah, man, we hear you, man. Uh, what's going on? Why y'all say it's on DNA instead of culture? Okay, um, I'll let them go. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Anybody want to say Where to begin? Question? I really well, don't know. I, well, well how can you, you consider consider this, right? So DNA, like there's certain things that each group is good at. Like for instance, we all know blacks are better at basketball, blacks are better at running. Like this stuff is just obvious. So if it affects the body physically, it can't not affect the mind. Like we know that for instance, Asians are shorter, Hispanics are shorter. DNA affects all parts of your body, all organs and everything, and it can't not affect the brain. Now, I'm like an outlier on this panel because I'm not a 100% DNA. Like, well, no, I'm not 100% either. Yeah, I'm yeah, not 100% DNA, -A -A but what I'll say is it has to have some effect logically. I mean, I see, I see what y'all saying. Like, I, I guess what I'm saying is because the reason why I say it's not DNA because I don't subscribe to, like, black culture. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure, like, I see a black guy here. I'm pretty sure he don't subscribe to black culture. So I'm trying to figure out. Sir, like, is, is your um, smoke detector beeping? I mean, yeah, I do got a chain of bird smoke detector. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Yeah, but that, well, you know, don't be that, that's something that we see all the time, though. Yeah, uh, I mean, dude. yeah, not to be a dick, but black like people, literally, black people yeah, with the chirping smoke detectors. It's just, it's, it's I mean, so but listen, they, listen, I, I get all that, but here's the thing it, it's, it's, I see white people that have the smoke detector thing. I mean, I should say, yeah, you see, you know, no, no, you don't, no, you don't, no, you don't. I say some, I say some, I say some, I say some. Let me just stop you, let me stop you, hold on, let me stop you right quick, man. The whole random. Anonymous, unfounded white people do something that most black people with channels will never refute. The whole, well, yeah, you know what? What mm, they should leave white people shoot up schools, and you got to be like, yeah, true, true, but we do shootings too. No, no, no. Listen, ninety nine percent of the time, somebody's fucking. Smoke detectors chirping 99% of the time. It's a fucking sun, man. The end, period. Let's move on. DNA. I mean, yeah. DNA. Yeah. DNA. Okay? I mean, the, 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 this is what we're saying, you know, our new guy, whatever. We've noticed. How long have you been watching Ox channel? That's my first that's my first show, very first broadcast. Okay. Well, well, welcome. Well, welcome. We're glad to have you here. But let me let me say something to you, right? So I've been messing with I regularly for like maybe three years now, right? And what we do here, bro, more or less, is we click on random. Like, you could give us a city right now and we'll go to it. And we'll watch the news on it. We look at the crime, crimes that go on, right? And no, no matter what city we go to, right, for the most part, we see behavior patterns from each group. Oh, my God. Literally, I could... Yeah, I know. They're consistent, dude. The behaviors of, of some people, as far as violent crime, right? They're very consistent, right? So tell me this, um, crime... Cameron. Cameron, yeah. what city are you from, man? I was born and raised in Clinton, South Carolina, but I live in Little Rock right now. Little Rock. Arkansas. Okay, let's, let's, do, let's do Little Rock, man. Is, 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 is it all right if we go to your city? In, uh, are you going uh, Yeah. Like, yeah, like here. Like, let me let me just say this. Let me just say this. I agree with y'all that yeah, black people commit a lot of crimes, and I ain't finna say the buts. Yeah, I'm just all I'm saying is, what about like like fence with me? I don't like I never even been been in handcuffs, so like I'm saying, how did that apply yeah. to me? Well, right. Let me. Well, here here's the thing. Like when people make the DNA argument, you have to remember it's not an it's not an all or nothing argument. It's not. In other words, it's an average argument. The bell curve like there's there's yeah the, 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 the there's there's averages for everybody like for instance like we were talking about black That's people and running the hundred meter like there's really fast white dudes like I could be like yeah I know a real fast white dude but when it comes to the astronomical speed that you need to be in the top ten fastest humans in the world you're just gonna see black people. Not that, that doesn't mean that there's not a white dude that's faster than ninety nine percent of all black people. Just like it doesn't mean that there's not a black person that might be 99% smarter than most white people on nah, the very bro. far end of the curve. Okay, let me, what I'm let, saying. Let me, 
let me let me let me uh, nah, I, feel, I, feel, I, feel, I feel you i get what you're saying nah, I feel that's a great I feel point that's a great point let me let me see we come onto the air tonight with breaking news. In the last hour, we've learned that nearly a dozen Little Rock shootings in the last 24 hours could all be connected. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Sarah Horvath. So this, this story is from last year, but you had 11 shootings in one day in a little ass city. Like, you know how little that city is? Yeah. Yeah, it, it, ain't, it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't big. Not compared to other city. No. Nah. And Cameron, do you know do you know any by any chance, do you know any white or Hispanic cities that have well let's just stick with white, white, because you know Hispanics we, we are violent too. But um even though we're not as violent as black as black people, but um in this country, um do you know any white cities that have this kind of, you know, anything that resembles what she just said? No, I don't, I, don't, I can't think of any. Do you have any white cities where there would be 11 shootings in a month? Hell no. What What about a year? I, 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 I'm born and raised in Clinton. That's a white city. I don't think we had like a shooting probably every fucking five years. And yeah, it was black on black crime. Okay. All right. So let's move along. Let's move. We come onto the air tonight with breaking news. In the last hour, we've learned that nearly a dozen Little Rock shootings in the last 24 hours Jeez, could all be connected. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Sarah Horvakowitz. Police say they have suspects in custody and that there is no threat to the public right now. Of course, this is a developing story. There's no threat to the public. You know Except why there they is, say that? And that's the problem. Yeah, they not the way they mean it. But the way they mean there's no threat is meaning... This is not someone that's just out there randomly shooting people. This is not someone with a manifesto. This is someone who may have been standing in line at McDonald's and someone cut in front of them. This may be someone who was driving down the street and someone cut in front of them. This might be someone who was fucking waiting for the bus and someone cut in front of them. This could be any of those little incidents that connect this could be a beef between two rival crews and they're going back and forth i shoot pookie in the leg you shoot ray ray in the leg i shoot jim jim in his um shoulder you shoot fucking quantavius in his ankle and it goes back and forth all day these are not literally the public if you don't live around these negroes if you're not like yeah you have a great chance of not being a victim of this. A great chance. I 100% agree with it. Yeah. I, I want to say this to you, brother, and I mean it with all sincerity, right? Bro, please change the battery for that, bro, because it's, it's a matter of life yeah. and death, bro. Or at least make really your mic when you're not. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, no, no I'd like you to like it. The, 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 the chirping. It's funny. Now, listen, it's funny. The, the, the chirping solidifies it drives yeah. the point hole yeah it, no, it drives, I, for anybody who yeah. thinks that it's not dna the yeah. chirping is a fucking constant yeah, reminder yeah. that it is i know DNA. it's funny yeah. I, I, i'm with you i but look with that said though cameron look do yourself a favor bro. Do you have <laughs> in the house? if you have anyone that you love in that house bro change the battery bro. Mm. trust me and listen and I, 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 I just bought, listen, my battery just went dead like yesterday. I just ordered some new batteries from Amazon. I waiting for them to get oh, Let me good. tell you something. Let me good, tell you good. something. Listen, listen, man. Let me just tell you two things. So one, you have the fact, you have a family, right? Yes. So you have your family in a home with a faulty smoke detector. And instead of going to the store down the street and getting the battery and immediately replacing it, you've sent, you've ordered something from Amazon it's going to take a week to get there. Fine. We let that slide. The reason. More action than a lot. So I'm okay with that. <laughs> the reason. And, 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 and we're just trusting him. They, you know, we don't know that it really happened. But the what reason. The reason that blacks don't. I'm the only person that's ever given you a reason why black. Abstract. Don't. Because it's abstract, right? Yeah. Don't. Don't change the battery. The same reason they don't change their 
their, their their batteries is the same reason they don't have insurance, a similar reason. Blacks don't change the battery to a smoke detector because the whole premise of the smoke detector, take it back to the essence, the whole premise of the smoke detector is foreign to the sun man. They would have never created a smoke detector because there's no fire. What do you mean a smoke detector? There's no fire right now. Well, no, the smoke detector is to alert you if, you know, some, some smoke happens and you can, you know, you can foresee a fire. It helps you be alarmed that of a future fire. And some men will say, well, why would I need that? There's no fire right now. We cannot fathom and we can't conjure we can't in our mind's eye rationalize abstract concepts and the smoke detector is the epitome of an abstract concept it's out of sight it's on the ceiling it's the same color as the ceiling you never need it until you need it and it's not even like blaring. It's not like in your face. It's not right there. It's not screaming at you. It's something that, you know, is up there. And then the well, chirp of well, the, here, hold on. I don't mean to cut you off, but right I, I feel but you, but you, 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 you're wrong when you said that. I can't go down the store. See, here's the thing. My, my wife has MS, so I, 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 I work. I work and I had to tell you, when I get off work, I don't have time to go to the store. Everything's be closed. I work from sun up to sun down. So, no, that, yes, I ordered some things. No, no, that's a good excuse. I mean, your wife has MS. I'm, I apologize for that, man. Salute to her. Hope it's not really about see, the ordering um, things, you know. I mean, because it's, it's, that's what I'm saying. It's like you can't lump me in with other blacks when I'm a, I'm being a man. And I mean, honestly, I get what you're saying. It's, it's the sun man. Most of them wouldn't order anything. Is the Sun Man a bad? Or I would call it which y'all Sun Man is, but yeah, I agree with everything y'all say because, like I said, I mean, I live in Little Rock, and yes, it does go down here. Like, like my my wife, even my wife, her her father and brother been shot dead by other black men. Yeah, she lost the same way. So it's like I get Hold what y'all saying. Your wife, your wife's brother and her father were both murdered. Murdered, shot. Her, matter of fact, her brother had a scholarship to play football at Ole Miss. Shot in the head on his graduation day from a stray bullet because other niggas were fighting. What? Yes. Sorry, what's, the, what's the hold on? What what's his name? His name Terry his name Terry Bullet. He died back in 2012, May of 2012. Terry Buller? Bullard. B-U-L-L-A-R-D. Terry Bullard. He went to Central High School. Whether you know the Little Rock Nine, the Little Rock, you ever heard of Little Rock Nine? He went oh, that's that where they couldn't. They didn't yeah. let him in the schools. Yeah, that, yeah, they went to that same high school. What yeah. position was he yeah. gonna play? He played. He was playing offensive line. I left on um, guard. They're moving into guard. Okay. He must have been yeah, a yeah. big guy. Then. Yeah, he about, about you pretty well. A pretty big dude, but that's what I was saying. Like he, that's why I say I agree with y'all a hundred percent about that shit. Because it's like I just didn't look at it from DNA. Because it's like okay. It couldn't be DNA because I don't subscribe to that shit. Then I was like, well, being how y'all put, how y'all put it, so, but how y'all put, I never heard from y'all. <laughs> they they kind of perspective. Well, so that's why I'm saying I never heard that from so, that perspective. Well, so, so one thing that you'll hear you? around here is not all right, and then it's like mm-hmm. it's so obvious I mean, that blah, you don't blah, have blah. to say it, right? Um, I mean, there yeah. are going to be outliers and exceptional people of so, all groups, but that doesn't so mean do that there are culture? patterns that aren't common. Yeah. But do you so do you think it's culture, Cameron? He, I don't. Here's the thing. The reason why I think it's culture. I'm gonna tell you the reason why I think it's culture. It's because. Oh, hold, before, hold, hold before you even say anything, though. If it's culture, then why don't you subscribe to it? the same logic that you apply to DNA? Why can't you apply that same logic to culture? Because you like, subscribe to it. All right, you gotta I, let him let him let him answer. Man. Let him answer. Damn, bro. Go ahead, let him answer. Go ahead. The reason why I think yeah. it's culture because I I think I don't, I don't think it's just culture. I think it's culture plus like communism. Cause I think most black people are communists. A lot of them are. Like, yeah. I really do. I think yeah. most black people are like I say. Well, about eighty percent of them are communists. I ain't gonna lie. They don't, probably don't know. They probably don't know what communist is, but they, that's what they is. I tell you what, though, so by you saying that, I know you must know some shit. 
<laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, so like so Martin Luther talking, King was a communist. That's why I, I agree. Yeah, he was. <laughs> they're gunning each other down because they're communists. Is that why they're gunning everybody down? I mean, because you got to think the Africans, yeah, all, I mean, because that's what I'm saying. I mean, I'm, I, I don't know, man. I, I'm lear like I'm learning because I ain't, I'm, I'm not disagreeing with you because, uh, like I said, because I never heard this kind of perspective. When I hear people say, "Oh, it's DNA," it's like, "Well, hold on, motherfucker, I, I don't do that shit." So how you gonna say it's DNA? Yeah, it depends. So on So do you, you do you say. think it's do you think it's American black culture is the problem? No, nah, I think it's. Cause it's American black. Cause you gotta think the Africans, they they it's like five civil wars going on in Africa right now as we speak. Oh, Sudan. So why do you think that is then, bro? So so do you <laughs> think the cultures are identical in America and Africa? I think that it might be what's, culture. What, what's I, consistent? Like when you look at different land masses with the same group of people, would you say the cultures are going to be consistent, or the DNA is going to be consistent? Uh, DNA. Okay. B because yeah, because Africa, you know, that's very diverse when it comes to culture, and it's like I said, like Sudan is a civil war, Sudan, and it's like wars going on in Bikini, Bikini Faso, and so there's those two different cultures. So I see exactly. what you mean with the DNA shit. Yeah. So like if we look at Haiti as well. Haiti's kind of its own, you know, microcosm of a culture. Yeah. Definitely different from anywhere else, but same yeah. behavior. It's hard to say because, like I also, said, untying, untying those two things, like, for instance, communism and centralized government will breed poverty and death. So, also this, and uh, another reason why I think it's like, it's we well, also say it's close because you look at black people before civil rights, they was like the black people before civil rights and the black people after civil rights are two different kind of black people. No, bro. You, you, why you say no? Look, look here on this channel, like I said earlier, we've been doing this for a couple of years now, right? And stick around, you're gonna like it. Um, we've kind of disproven that. Like everything that we've been taught in the history books, they lied to us. The 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 black man was not cowering in fear. They were actually doing the same thing they're doing now. Very confident, very comfortable doing what they do. Yeah, it was no, no. I think no, no. I agree with that because, like, like they lied about the Tulsa race massacre. They like to say it was thousands of black people. That it wasn't. It was like a couple of dozen black and white. And there's also, I think, there it was communist agitation that really popped it off. And also, I think they accused of. I don't know if they, if they said a black man did something to it. I don't know if he if he really did it or not. I don't know, but I knew do do know there was a, a communist that popped off the the race. Massacre and it was really like a thousand people didn't die, like it was no mass grave. So I understand they lie about these things too. I understand that. Bro, uh, Cameron, Cameron, can I talk to you for a moment? Yeah, I got ahead. a few questions for you. Yeah. Okay, would you ever apply the DNA argument to differences that you could see between men and women? Oh, yeah. Okay, do you agree or not that the brain? is just an organ just like any other organ in the uh, human body yeah that, that's that's true okay so knowing that you know the human being's uh body adapts to its environment don't you think it could be possible that there might be you know average differences in the brains of different people of different groups and races just like uh for example like Sun people have longer limbs than than white people do, and you know we have different facial features, and like all over the world, people are different. Yeah, yeah. So, do you think it could be possible that that could result in um, a situation where you just have an average difference in brain functionality between groups of different people? Because here at Auk Nation, like we already concede that. It's not just white versus black, you know, like Asian people score higher on IQ tests than white people do. Um, and yeah, that's basically all we're really saying here. Uh, OK, I see what you're saying. Like, I, so ain't that, gonna lie. I did see a study where it says that people that commit mo most of the people that commit murders have a low IQ above just above retarded. Or some shit right. I've seen. And uh, like uh, you have to understand, like it's it's possible. Like, look at it this way we all say that like white people can't jump. Right. But if you yeah. took the average black person and the average white person, 
let's just say the average black guy can jump like a few inches more. It's not really a big deal, right? However, yeah. like small differences between the averages of two groups can create extraordinary differences on the extremes of those groups. So that's how you get like an entire NBA that's like basically black, despite the fact that black people are, you know, faster than white people, but not that much faster. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you saying. Okay, I, I get what y'all say. Yeah, but at the end of the day, like, what does it mean for you and your personal life? Like, you're not gonna look your kid in the face and be like, "You're you're from a dumb race." And no one's gonna do that. Like, not even Ox gonna do that. <laughs> and you don't do no. that because potential is unknown. No. You 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 do what you can do. Like I would like if I had a son, he was good at basketball. I would never say, "Well, you're fucking white." You know, you're not going to get anywhere. Like, there's white people in the NBA. Who the hell knows? You let people grow up and, and utilize their potential. It's just this type of talk has come to fruition at this time because everything's being blamed on white supremacy, and that's just retarded. So now, in order to, you know, it's like, all right, well, let's just talk about it. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck is really causing all this shit? And I'm not 100% DNA person, too. I mean, culture can destroy societies, too. Like, you've got white cultures. They subscribe to communism. They fucking destroyed themselves. Asian cultures too. They destroy I, themselves. Yeah, and I also just I was always, always always thought because I ain't gonna lie, I do think like some of the arguments that black like uh, black people have it, it shit do be stupid. Like they'll say like, oh, we the Native Americans, we this, we that, and it's like, God damn, pick a side. And I'd I be like, I think that shit's stupid. I ain't gonna lie. I think when I hear that shit, like Dr. Omar, I think Dr. Omar is stupid as shit. I think he's funny because he's stupid, but he is stupid as shit. Uh, Cameron, Cameron, another question. In your mind, do you think it's possible that you could disentangle genetics from culture? In other words, here on Auk Nation, I don't know if everyone here does, but I do. I think that, like, for example, culture is really just like the genetic manifestation of the, uh, you know, genetic average of the group in question. And so it probably, in my mind, should not surprise you that, like, you know, Jews have a really education driven culture given their high IQs versus sons who have the opposite of that. Um, I I wanna say I'm like this. I think like for instance, you look at the study race, I think it says black people doesn't like they, they, they basically watch the most TV of any other race and they also have the lowest study times of any other race. Right. So I think that does play a part into culture, but I see can't, like how y'all put the DNA argument. It could lean into DNA. Yeah. I mean, in other words, like it shouldn't surprise you that a very high IQ group of people would naturally find an appreciation for education because one, they're good at it and they're smart. Yeah. And then on the other flip side, it shouldn't surprise you that people that are not all that intelligent are not all that interested in education and, you know, on and on. Yeah, they, they also, let me let me say this, Cameron. Let me say this, Cameron. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna let you talk in a minute. Um, so this is your 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 wife's brother, RPDM Terry Bullard. 18 was killed in the May 26 shooting. This is 2012 at 521 Center Street. Police say Bullard was out celebrating his graduation from days earlier. Yeah, when he was killed. Detectives believe Bullard was not the intended victim, but that an argument between others resulted in shots being fired and one bullet striking Bullard, killing him. Little Rock Police Department Sergeant Cassandra Davis said in a statement, there were at least 100 people present during the shooting. In interviews by detectives, have not yet developed a suspect in the incident. And no, they still haven't called anybody. The man, they, the man that killed him still free. So this is my thing, okay. This great football player, he was going to put on for the city, right? He was going to put on, man. He was going to put on for the city. He literally was murdered in front of 100 people. Yeah, and the police couldn't get an identification on the suspect who was arguing loud, audibly before the shooting with another group of people. 
Yeah. <laughs> when you say when you say um IQ, can you can can you see how I mean not IQ, DNA, can you see how like DNA will play into that? Because in my estimation, DNA plays into that because those one hundred people, we're presuming they were black, right? Yeah. Would you say that those hundred people were black? They, yeah, they were. all reacted the same way to that stimuli. This guy shooting would be the stimuli. This would be the event. The hundred people there would be all the test cases. They all responded the same way. That's DNA. I feel you. I feel you. So yeah, man. Um, let's um let me read some of these um super chats, man. Um, shout out to LRLRS, man. Going in, man. Salute to economics a one one one. He says, I will get on one night. Y'all are wrong. Y'all watch news on N words like Floyd. I'm black, not an N word. Perhaps y'all have only lived in rough neighborhoods. Is that you? No, nah, that's not me. That's not me. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, MW says that man to smoke alarm inspired me to take the challenge. Can you tell him to please take that smoke alarm down? Um, there's no hope, man. Is the, the next time he calls in, it'll be the same situation. Um, salute, to, and he's a very intelligent guy, and it's still it's DNA. Let me salute ask y'all this. Out. Let me ask y'all this though. Do you think that? Blacks that have more white in them are less likely to do shit like this. And that is, do y'all believe that? Uh, what, what's well, if it's what DNA? If it's DNA, of course, most of the great black inventors, most of the first, if you go back to like a hey, black history, the first to do things are usually mulatto. W.E.B. Du Bois was a mulatto, Booker T. Washington was a mulatto. They're the two great thinkers of early black post-slavery times. Yeah. The great inventors, um, most of the great inventors were mulattoes. Yeah. Many of the great leaders, mulattoes. If you go through black history, Obama. Um, yeah, yeah, if you go through black history, many great mulattoes. Who have, who have um, d done blacks a favor by claiming to be black because by hating, by hating their white side? Because I, I'm I'm related to like I don't really tell people this much, but I'm related to like four Confederate soldiers. Yeah, like, I mean that means nothing. That's just like saying I was related to a Mexican soldier. Like that was a country back then. That was a, a they were trying to make it a country. It just. Related to some dudes that was fighting against some other dudes. Nah, I, I, I ain't gonna lie. It just I used to get shamed for that shit. Like I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, black yeah. people shame for that shit. We ain't we ain't gonna shame you for that shit. Pro bowlers says, oh, pro bowler nine says, ah, you know his smoke detectors been beeping for like a year. Mike, check. What's up? I, I I can put it. I can say some stuff. Oh, Hold on. Let me read this one. Let me 